first year. Yeah. So. <laughs> hey, one day I'm just going to click it and it's going to be there. I'm just saying. It's all good. Gosh, I'm here now. Am I looking here or here? Here? Okay. Here. <laughs> here. Right here. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Awesome. I'm well, we got you rolling. We're doing good. Everybody can do social media. It's super easy. So <laughs> we'll get right to it, though. <laughs> Stacey, for those of you, for those people that are tuning in, tell people a little bit about your uh, background and who you are. Gosh, who am I? Isn't that the thought of everybody? Who are we? Okay, so, I'm sorry. Um, so, I'm originally from New York, but I live in Mississippi. So, like, if my accent throws you, that's what it is. I might, maybe I should be, like, in Kentucky. I'm just saying. But, um. Somewhere in the South. Yeah, somewhere in the South. But, so I've lived in Mississippi, and I have been in healthcare for 27 years. I know that that's hard to believe because I look like I'm 30, but right. um, 27, 27 years as a physical therapist assistant. So, yeah, that's that's me. That's amazing. Hey, Maria. Maria just popped in. She's one hey, of Maria. my friends. <laughs> well, so you've been in healthcare for many, many years, and um, so what... That. what how did ASEA come into your life and what made you look at it? Okay, so a physical therapist friend of mine, shout out to Holly Johnson, um, she, I've known her for 12 years at the time. And so she called me one night and she's like, hey, why don't you go to my house? I, you know, I want you to look at something. And, you know, she was my friend, so I went. I really didn't know what I was looking at, but I went. And, you know, when I left there, I just thought, you know, if this doesn't help me, I'm just going to chalk it up to something that doesn't help me. But what if it does, right? I wasn't, it, I wasn't going to be out like tons and tons of money. Actually, I mean, you can get into that later. There's money back guarantee, honestly. So I wasn't going to be out nothing. And at the time, what my friend didn't know was I'd, I'd already had three knee surgeries. And I was scheduled for a very major knee surgery in just a few months. This was three years ago. And um, so, I, I mean, what else did I have to lose? They were fixing to cut my knee, right? But also at the same time, I hurt all over. And, you know, people, oh, why don't you work out? Well, look, if you hurt already just waking up, why do you want to work out? You're already hurting. And then I also was having to go to the doctor two to three times a month because I was constantly sick. I didn't have vacation time built up because I was always off work for some kind of illness. So I just thought, you know, I'm, I'm going to give this a shot. And so I started, I started drinking the liquid, the two ounces in the morning, two ounces at night. I was rubbing the gel on, on my knee. And within a couple of weeks, I started noticing difference. And everybody, let me say this, everybody's different. You know, I might just be a freak of nature. I'm just saying. But um, I started noticing that I wasn't hurting as much. And I ended up canceling my knee surgery because I went from like a 9 out of 10 pain every day to maybe a, a 1, if that. And I, like for instance today, I worked all day. I worked out. I know it's, I mean, you can tell. You know, I'm working out. And she's funny. Yeah, worked out. And then, um, you know, you got to keep this in, in line. And then I worked with some kids on basketball. Three years ago, I had to I, I had to have stopped that because I, I couldn't do it. Like, I wouldn't have been able to even walk trying to deal with these kids. Now I'm out there an hour solid, just boom, you know. And um, so that was huge. But then instead of going to the doctor two to three times a month, I've been three times in three years. So huge. huge. Um, and then I don't hurt. I, I don't hurt like I did. I mean, I, I used to wake up in my hands just, ugh. I would cry that my hands hurt like that, you know? And wow. no, whatever, no issue. So I'm good. I mean, it's it's been so big in my life that, yeah, I, I will never um stop taking this because no way that's amazing no way. and and you answer my next question of you know what has a done for you but <laughs> you, you've decided to 
it's it's all good. You, you're one step ahead of me. <laughs> there but you go. <clears throat> why did you decide to start sharing this with people? So basically, what happened is, I, when I started, I really didn't have any plans for it to be a business. But when people that I know who have known my issues, because we all have issues um, for years, that they saw that I was doing better. So for instance, my husband, he was like, man, she's doing so much better. You know, he had his own struggles. He had gotten to where he could maybe work three hours and then he was done. I mean, everybody that knew him, this guy used to work, like his whole family worked and it, he just couldn't do it. He had a, a health struggle. And so now he's back working sun up to sundown. He's out there just killing it. And, um, but then some of his family saw how we were doing and then they wanted to try it. And then some more family saw how all of us were doing and they wanted to try it. So each one of them is so, it's crazy because everybody had their own health struggle. Like they weren't really the same, right. but everybody was doing better. So it, it just kind of grew that way, you know? And it's like, if these are people that I love. And it's like, I went into healthcare to help people. And if, if I had anything to do with them having better health and being able to do what they do, I mean, I got a sister-in-law, she's up at like three in the morning, goes and works all day, comes home, she's out there weed eating, she's out there working in the garden. I'm like, how does she do it? But I do know, I do know how she does it. Cause she used to not be able to do it, but now she can. And she'll flat out tell you, I am never not going to take this stuff because I don't want to go back like I was. So, I mean, as far as therapy is concerned, I mean, yes, there's a lot of things I can do um, when it comes to therapy, but there's some things I can't. But with this, it just gives me another avenue to help people. And I mean, that was my main reason for going into healthcare. That's so cool. If you all think, who, who, whoever's watching right now, if, if you think that's cool, if Stacy's story, her husband's, her family story, if you think that's cool, type in heck yeah, because I think that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah, baby. I'm sorry. And for those of you <laughs> that are tuning in, we're talking about redox signaling molecules. Um, so if you'd like to learn more, drop a heart. We'd be happy just to educate you more about it. Um, so Stacey, you've been doing this for three years. Where do you see a SIA going uh, in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, this, this redox technology? Well, more and more people are going to know about it just because like even in our little small area that we're at, more and more people are hearing about it. And I mean, they've already, they have universities now that are building redox biology labs. So, I mean, they're trying to study this and see how it, it's helping people's bodies. So, and then, I mean, you got Olympic athletes that are taking it, professional athletes, you know, people that you would know, but honestly, they're not going to tell you that they're taking it because they don't want you to know why they're doing so good. <laughs> but, you know, that, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, I am an elite athlete. Honestly, I do. I ride, I ride my bike for like a whole 13 miles. Don't, don't, because I know people that ride it for hundreds. But anyway, I'm just saying. Um, but I can tell for like my own self when I'm riding my bike that, I mean, I can get up the hills better. Um, my recovery is tons better. So, you know, you got these athletes that are just killing it. And with Redox, it's going to allow their bodies to even do better. I mean, we've got, we've, we have some young athletes that take it around here and they're doing personal records, you know, when, when they're racing and I'm so proud of them. And, uh, but anyway, yeah, I, it's going to end up where people are going to know about it. So do you want them to know about it from somebody else or do you want them to know about it from you? That's my thing. Just saying. <laughs> so if you'd like to learn more here, you know, connect with Stacey, reach out to her. She'd be happy to share her story again with you uh, because she's on a mission, just like myself, of helping people um, and just educating them more about this redox technology since it is growing and everybody will surely hear about it sooner or later. But um, uh, Stacey, when we, as we wrap this up, is there any last minute comments that you'd like to say? I would like to say to the world that 
the other thing with a C is you get to meet really great people, such as Jackie, because I would never have met Jackie. You. Never would have met Jackie if it wasn't for a Sia. You know, and honestly, I think our interaction is all through video, but whatever. Eventually, we will be in person. And sorry for those that are around us, because they're not going to know what's going to hit them. But anyway, yeah, throw some hearts out there if you want to know more about it. And uh, hey, throw some hearts out there if you just say, hey, y'all are great. We love you. We would love that. Yep, absolutely. We're growing this social media and one day at a time. So thank you, know you so much, show. Dick. You know, huh? that's a, you know, that's a show one day at a time. You wouldn't know it because you're way younger. <laughs> Just like, one day I'll know. <laughs> one day you'll know. Thank you so much, Stacey, for letting me interview you. I can't wait to meet you in person. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.